Hey guys and welcome to Film Study where we analyze films in various ways to make you see it in a different concept and change a part of a scene and figure out how the rest of the story would play out based on a single change in one scene. With a recent attempt going through the history of film itself, from the first known footage to developing technology of photographs, I then got more curious about video games and their history. Considering video game history is shorter, it's a lot easier to dissect, however speaking in terms of the future, which category of entertainment would last longer. I know I'm giving it a long shot here trying to predict the far, far future, but really going into all the details, you'd be surprised. In a previous video, I talked about what happened with the first ever known footage of moving images put together. Of course, it was theater that was the first technical form of entertainment and film just without the cameras. The late 1800s was when this technology was being founded and experimented on. To my surprise, people were actually frightened at what they were seeing, which in reality, the more I think about it, actually makes some kind of sense considering the new inventions nowadays with the hyperspeed bullet trains underground, but that's a moving vehicle you would be sitting in and not just something you're looking at. In fact, the first audience that ever saw this footage, people treated it as a natural disaster. Many people believe this to just be an urban myth, but I feel like it's more so true. Think about it in terms of VR. We understand what it is, but it seems so real that we sometimes forget and react as if it was. Hence, the first reported public film test screening was of a scene of a seashore. No monsters invading army, just waves rolling along a beach. People ran from the makeshift movie theater to escape the rushing water. But be honest, you would run if that's the first thing you saw in VR being introduced to its technology. Aside from all that, and we obviously have a clear understanding as to what film is, it's not just Hollywood who have access to create this form of entertainment. Films are created first, but that doesn't mean they are everyone's favorite. Doesn't mean everyone hates them either. But if you really think about it, which of these two would last longer? When it comes to video games, the first video game that was created was as early as 1950 when computer scientists were using electronic machines to construct relatively simple game systems like tic-tac-toe. Arcade games and home consoles were developed next in the 1970s. People's response to video games the first time was neutral but exciting. It was another form of entertainment but with interaction. Pac-Man became a hit even with such simplicity. It was a competition to beat the previous person's high score. Some people even saw it as not a toy but an essential tool for training young people for a future of high tech and they were right. From then to now, video games have had an entirely different view because people use it as a job. Of course, the film industry is a job too, but it's a lot harder than buying a computer and camera and recording yourself playing video games. And to top it off, people use it not only for entertainment for themselves, but you're pretty much being paid to have fun. Not a lot of people can say they get paid to watch movies or TV shows, and if they can, it took them more than a week to get there. The film industry itself is going downhill as we speak. Between Netflix taking on a big movie budget in the first week, not even getting half a million back. Granted, it's only been a week, however, I feel like it still could have been more than that. And Lightyear, which is a story nobody asked for. And of course, the countless sequels and prequels for films and no original story. The difference with films and video games is you can only be entertained for so long with a movie or even a TV show. A film only lasts about an hour and a half. Even with TV shows, not many people have cable anymore, so one episode a week isn't a thing. However, it's better as compared to binge watching, people don't get as much enjoyment out of a TV show if they watch episodes back to back and it takes many months just to film and edit one episode. With video games, on the other hand, yes, you have to wait for expansions and updates, but there's usually a lot of lore within the game and so many other things you can draw your attention to. World of Warcraft can't be modded, but there's an enormous amount of things to do. The Sims 4 can be modded like crazy and there's many worlds and hidden areas. We are entering a new generation where having a gaming setup for cozy games or streaming is standard. I personally feel like film itself will die off eventually, maybe not in our lifetime or in the next hundred years, but I really believe video games will outlive films because they aren't enough and can't be made fast enough. Granted, there's also a job attached to it. Video games are 10 times more likely to be addicting as well considering the amount of hours people play because they hold our attention longer. People have become famous off just recording themselves playing video games, adding a little twist of their personality. In the last decade, the gaming industry has been outperforming Hollywood. Just in 2021, the global games market had $180 billion in revenue, bigger than the film and music industry combined. One example would be Grand Theft Auto V cost $265 million to make, but has made $6 billion back and climbing, and it's extremely rare for films to do that. Difference is, video game popularity doesn't die off as quickly 
as a hit movie, then it's stored and just known as a classic film. Eventually, films will start to dwindle, and even if they don't ever really disappear, I still believe they won't be as appealing to an audience. Regardless, the proof is in the graphs and they speak for themselves, and it's only a matter of time before ticket sales become lower than they did after the shutdown.